here come the self-driving cars. Last year, there were almost 6 million car crashes in the United States. 40,000 people died in those crashes. 90% of those crashes were caused by the car's drivers. Road crashes cost the U.S. $230.6 billion per year. Will self-driving cars save lives? Many people hope so. Self-driving cars won't speed, they won't text, or talk on a cell phone. They won't get distracted. They will never be blinded by the sun and never get tired. They won't drive drunk or be impaired by drugs or medications. How do self-driving cars work? Human drivers use their eyes and ears. They learn from their training and their experience. They use their intelligence to drive a car safely. Humans know how other drivers behave on the road. Self-driving cars are robots. Computers control all of their functions. They have ways to see, too. They use radar, cameras, LIDAR sensors, and other devices to see where they are going. They can see the things around them. The car's computer puts all the information together from a picture of the objects in the road. The computers calculate the three dimensions of objects. They are able to tell how close other objects are and how fast they are moving. Self-driving cars need to learn how to handle all kinds of trouble. The car's designers create simulated events and program the computers so they will respond safely. When the cars are on test runs with a driver in the car, the car's computers collect more information. Cars will need to know what to do if another car goes through a red light, if people are jaywalking, or if children or dogs suddenly run into the street. What can today's cars do? Many new cars today can already assist the driver. They have computers that will keep a car in its lane on a highway. They can stop a car before it crashes into another vehicle or object. Computers help a car park in a small parking space. Cruise control keeps a car going at a set speed. Cameras in the sides and back of a car can show a driver what is next to and behind the car. Cars have a video screen that shows maps and directions. The screen is connected with satellites that show the car's location. It tells the driver where to turn. Lights turn on automatically when it starts to get dark. Windshield wipers go on when it starts to rain. Tomorrow's Cars The next level of self-driving cars will stop at stop signs and red lights. They will go around obstacles in the road. They'll know what to do when they are near pedestrians, bicyclists, or other cars. The car's computers will know when it is safe to change lanes, pass other cars, cross an intersection, or back out of a driveway. A person will be able to set the destination 
on the car's GPS system. The car will be able to drive itself there. The car will make all the turns and get on and off highways. Are self-driving cars safe yet? Some self-driving cars are on the road already. Car makers are still testing them. They need a driver ready to take control of the car. The driver needs to be fully attentive. A few accidents show how important the driver still is. In March this year, on a dark road, a woman stepped in front of a self-driving Uber. The car did not stop. She was killed. The driver was not paying attention. Last year, a self-driving Tesla did not see a white tractor trailer crossing in front of it. The car smashed into it. The driver of the Tesla was not paying attention. He died in the crash. How soon will the U.S. have a truly safe self-driving car? Auto companies are in a race to create a safe self-driving car. Tesla and Waymo, built by Google, are the most advanced. Other companies in the race are Apple, Audi, BMW, Cadillac, Chrysler, General Motors, Lyft, Nissan, Mercedes-Benz, and Uber. More than 200 other tech companies hope to take part in this revolution in transportation. Some car makers say that by the year 2030, one half of all the cars on the road in the U.S. will be self-driving. What problems are there? Heavy rain or snowstorms can hide the lines on roads. Computers can suddenly malfunction. A hacker can get into the car's computers and take control of the steering or change the car's speed. A passenger in a self-driving car may get some electromagnetic radiation. This can cause headaches, tiredness, and trouble sleeping. Self-driving cars, buses, and trucks will put millions of people out of work. Taxi drivers, truck drivers, bus drivers, parking lot attendants, neighborhood auto mechanics, highway patrol officers, and delivery people. Who will own self-driving cars? The computers and sensors for self-driving cars may add 70000 to $150,000 to the cost of a car. However, most people won't need to buy one. Uber and Waymo are planning to have fleets of self-driving cars. People can share a ride with someone going in the same direction. After delivering a person to a destination, the car can drive itself away to park, or it can drive to the next person who calls for it. A person won't need to find a parking place for the car or spend time taking care of it. Benefits of Fleets of Self-Driving Cars In one auto manufacturer's dream, people won't have to buy a car, pay for a license, for insurance, or for parking. They won't have to learn how to drive. Sharing rides means there won't need to be as many cars. There will be less pollution. 
people can work in the self-driving car while the computer does the driving. Around the world. Car manufacturers in China, Japan, Germany, Britain, France, Singapore, South Korea, and other countries are also working on autonomous cars and other vehicles. Questions about self-driving cars. Will Americans want to get into a car that has no driver? Will people on the street be safe from them? Will there be self-driving licenses? Will there be a test for them? Who is liable if a self-driving car hurts someone or damages property? Will these cars have insurance? How should drivers of normal cars change their behavior around self-driving cars? Who will protect the cars from hackers, carjackers, and thieves? Will the government need new laws about self-driving cars? Will roads and highways need changes? Should the government tax these robot cars if they take away jobs?